the previous videos guys I was telling you about radial and axial agitation and what does that mean probably it sounds familiar radial sounds like radius axial sounds like axis and yes that is the intention when we have the propeller right here we move it we're going to have axial flow if we rotate it this way we're going to have radial flow okay so actually you have here VA is axial and VR is radial some typical axial agitation is this propeller design that goes here, pushes the fluid here. So because it's pushed right here, then it collides with the wall or bottom of the vessel and goes up. And then because of gravity goes down and because of the propeller or this axial propel goes down. This is also typical for the turbine and depends of course in which angle you are operating. Radial agitation, well, it might be, for example, paddle wheels or even a anchor. They move and they generate rota rotation like this. So instead of going through one way, they go through a radial way. Here you go. They are moving anyway, but in a rotating manner. This was a free preview. You want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course, the AV link is in the description of the video you will get all access not only that you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface so for instance you were analyzing or studying pumps you have it here the pump block and then you have the sections if you're for example studying the types of pumps you can go here and you have all the classes right here not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these so for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. If you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.